This is the San Zero. It's one of the largest stadiums in Europe and the biggest in Italy. Home to two of the world's biggest clubs, AC and Inter Milan. The Rossoneri are European champions once again. And Inter are the side who come out on top. A superb performance from the side from Milan. This place has seen Champions League games. Milan is the setting for the 2001 UEFA Champions League final. Serie A rivalries. World Cup games. In Milan, it was West Germany, already threatening to take the competition by storm. And even Madonna. <laughs> but they're knocking her down. In the next couple of years, this iconic stadium is going to be knocked down and replaced with a new, flashy, modern stadium. Which got me thinking, I need to see this bad boy in real life. Cheers, pal. No. to Milan, a lovely flight over the Alps to get here. It was actually really nice. It was funny actually, at the uh, at the airport, at border control, someone looked at the jacket and he's gone, San Siro tonight, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> Being now that I'm here, obviously, I'll explain what I'm doing in Milan. Obviously, I said I want to go see the San Siro. I'm gonna go see the San Siro. I'm actually gonna go watch AC Milan versus Torino in the Coppa Italia tonight, 9 p.m. kickoff local time. Honestly, cannot wait. It's going to be insane. It's such a bucket list item, this, like seeing the San Siro as a whole would have been great, but seeing a match there with the AC fans is going to be a dream come true. I cannot wait. Uh, but that's not until nine, and it's like midday at the minute, so I've got a lot of time to kill. Uh, so I'm going to see a bit of my life. So, tourist spot number one is just around this corner. I rode this thing to it and it was so scary. I was definitely not filming on it. Uh, I kind of forgot that they drive on the other side of the road here and that doesn't help, <laughs> especially for someone that can't drive, but it worked. And uh, yeah, the uh, cathedral, the Duomo is just around this corner now. That corner wasn't a satisfying reveal, so I feel like this one might be a little bit better. This place not only feels very expensive, it is very expensive. It smells very expensive, it smells nice in there, which is impressive. <laughs> Duomo, absolutely brilliant. I recommend it a lot. Obviously, it's the main thing to come and see other than the San Siro. It's absolutely stunning. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a football bar right behind it. So it's a win-win. I'm heading, I'm heading there now. I was right. place was good, uh, really good memorabilia on the wall, I don't know about the shirts, a little bit on the fake side, but you know, nice to have a beer, see some football memorabilia, right by the Duomo as well, uh, sticking with the football shirt theme, I'm going to go to the AC Milan store because that just makes sense doesn't it, that just makes sense.
So after the Milan store, I kind of just walked about a little bit, soaked in a bit of Milan at night as well. It just turned dark as well. So I was just looking at all the stores, walking around. It was quite nice. So I grabbed a little bit more food. I'm back at the Duomo, as you can see. Um, and it's time. The time has come. No more tourist stuff. It's time to get to the San Siro. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. I'm really excited. <laughs> I think I'm about to see it for the first time. Coming up the stairs now. <laughs> I'm seeing it for the first time. I feel like I'm seeing like a unicorn or something, like something that I've always wanted to see. It's mad. I don't know if I've always wanted to see a unicorn. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> After all that, they lose 1-0. <laughs> no, obviously, great experience regardless, no matter what the football or the score was. The stadium itself was breathtaking. Honestly, you kind of get there and the sheer size of it just kind of takes you away. 
honestly, it's it's so imposing. The brutalist architecture just kind of adds to that imposing nature. The sheer size of it, honestly, it, it just takes your breath away. And of course, the fans, the fans were fantastic. It was brilliant. I loved it. You know, the stadium was half empty. It was a cup game in the middle of the week. It was late. And the noise was just at something else, you know, something you don't experience as an English fan, really. You know, you've got the ultras across the way just singing the whole time, setting flares off. You know, all the fans around me were great. I was sat next to this one bloke who was just the most Italian man you've ever met, but he was great. And we were kind of talking in broken English and broken Italian. And just, yeah, those fans are fantastic. And I was actually sat right in front of the Torino fans and they were giving it their all as well. Whoever had that drum just did it for the whole time. So fair play to him. There's a lot that's happened as well that I didn't get to capture in this film. Like I almost didn't get into the stadium and that's a whole nother story. Um, and I'm gonna go into that a little bit in the behind the scenes video that's on my personal channel, Jay Tomlin's Football. Uh, a bit more bit behind the scenes, like how I shot the film, a bit more of the personal stuff. And obviously some stories like that one are in that video. So if that's interesting you make sure you check it out there'll be a link somewhere there or in the description i'd appreciate it if you go check that out as well yeah so 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 happy i got to see that incredible stadium before they knocked it down just honestly a bucket list dream for myself and i've only got people that are watching right now to thank if it wasn't for this youtube channel this wouldn't have happened so i can only thank you so so much for letting me do this and it was honestly a dream come true and if you enjoyed the video make sure you like make sure you subscribe uh and yeah share it about let's get you know let's get this going who knows we can make another one of these in the future uh there's plenty of more stadiums that we need to get to isn't there uh yeah that's it from me i appreciate you so so much for watching this uh and i'll see you in the next one Bye.